Evening, everyone. So, um, time for another video. But before we get cracking with this video, I just wanted to give an update. I have been recording our Azure Active Directory and uh, integration with the single sign on mobility agent. Uh, you will have seen that there's been two videos posted, and the next video was supposed to be the uh, demonstration and integration with the single sign-on mobility agent. I'm nearly there, um, but it appears that we've hit a licensing issue. Um, so I'm just waiting on a, a fully fledged 40 authenticator license and a couple of single sign-on mobility agent licenses to be sent across, and then we can get that video out. So this video is gonna be relatively quick and simple, but it is highly requested. Um, so I thought I'd run through it. So the question that is asked is, um, how do you factory reset a 40 gate appliance? Well, there's actually a couple of different methods. The first method is that some of the lower end models, I have um, a 60E here. Um, they have a, a pinhole on the front of them um, called and uh, it says reset and you're able to put a pin in there um, on boot and have the device factory reset. The next uh, option is if I go over to my screen. Okay, so what I've done is I've entered the command execute factory reset and I've question marked it. Just want to talk of, over the different options you have. Uh, SQ Factory Reset is going to flatten everything. All interface configuration, VDOM configuration, policy information, uh, IP set VPN configuration, centralized management, everything will get flattened. Next one will reset everything apart from um, centralized management configuration. Uh, factory Reset Shutdown, never use this. Uh, resets the appliance in its entirety, but then shuts down the device gracefully. Uh, execute factory reset two, use this one all the time. Um, that resets the configuration. So that would be firewall policies, IP set VPN policies, um, everything apart from the following. It does not reset system interface configuration it does not reset VDOM configuration, and it does not reset static root information. So if you're working on flattening a device, but you're remote, and you don't want to flatten the device um, in its entirety, so you, you want to flatten its configuration, let's say, but you still want, to be able, still want to be able to access the appliance, then execute factory reset two is the command. Now, to actually do this, you simply press enter, you will then be asked if you want to confirm with that by entering yes or no. Um, and that is it to factory reset an appliance. And that wraps this video up. Um, as always, I'm just gonna ask for your support. There's around 25 videos on the channel now covering all sorts of different topics. Um, so if you're able to browse from this video to those videos, that will help help me greatly. I'm publishing around three or four videos a week at the moment. Um, and as some of you are doing, if you would like to let me know what content you would like to see in the channel uh, via a direct message or, or in the comments, that would be appreciated so I know what videos to prioritize moving forward. Thanks again.